everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday Night Rockin' Poor. I'm sure you just saw Louise McKay art. Angela Bliss art will follow me. Let's get started. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. I appreciate everybody being here with me. I'm so excited. I've got an 18 by 24 inch canvas, and I am going to be doing a pearl pour. I haven't decided if I'm just gonna do a pearl pour, if I'm gonna do a Dutch pour pearl pour, or a flower pot pearl pour. It's one of those things where when I get there, it'll I'll just feel and see what it needs, and um, I think that's what the excitement is with these pearl pours. The last ones that I've done, it's been a while. Um, I, had I You know that I took p pieces of Terra Artistry's um, class. Oh gosh, it's been over a year ago now. And that's where I fell in love with the pearls. And she's still doing some amazing pearl pours. Check out her channel at Pieces of Terra Artistry. As well as I am using her new white pearl cell formula. So I'm excited about doing that. I will actually have the pearl pour her new recipe listed below and i'm doing white pearls so i've got it mixed up here it's extremely thin i keep adding water because i'm like ah can i still see when you are doing this you don't want to see anything when it goes back into the paint you you don't want to see any vortex at all it wants to sink right back into the paint i'm hoping i have enough and I am going to speed this up and I'm gonna paint my edges with white paint. I am just loving doing a pearl pour. It's been a while and I cannot wait to do more of them. After this one, I've already got my paints mixed. Okay, so we, want to, we just wanna go through and we always want to cover these edges, like I said, and I am just, I don't know why I'm so nervous about doing this. I haven't done one in so long. I'm nervous and excited all in the, at the same time. Hey, hi. All right, we've painted the edges. Now let's start with our colors. And the white is very thin. I keep adding water thinking it's not thin enough. <laughs> I will put the um, recipe down below again. It's pieces of Tara Artistry, her new recipe. And since then, um, Amber's awfully awesome art. Amber, she has done this recipe. You need to check that video out. The colors are great. So let's go over our colors. We are using quinacridone red by TriArt. Beautiful. And it is very thin. This is a pour over color that I'm going to use. Let's hope these pearl up real great. Then we've got TriArt Ari Live Yellow Deep. This is another fluid paint beautiful and I love these little silicone bowls I got at Amazon they actually have lids that fit right on top okay Let's see if you can see consistency there we go then I have this little piggy Venus beautiful color and that is mixed with Amsterdam violet oh no this is permanent red violet light beautiful and you can see the venus in this you see that um kind of a color shift and i wet the pigments with um gac 100 first did that then i added my pouring medium the same pouring medium as the others and then i added the two paint and then i added water if needed to consistency Last but not least, I have a little bit. I love this color. It's got to be one of my faves. It is um, TriArt, and this is a tube fake paint, their Interference Orange. It just has a slight tint, and I thought that with the um, with this um, Ari Light Yellow would be really cool. All right, guys, let's move these out of the way because we've got to have a lot of room to put down excuse me gotta have a lot of room to put down the um our pour over i am nervous here we go let's get this down okay i'm gonna use all of it and again remember we got to cover the whole canvas and we could blow we could blow it 
I'm just making sure I have enough for the canvas. Over the corner, 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 and all the way over. All right, beautiful. That looks good. We are going to do our pour over colors. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do them sporadically. Yellow is probably going to take over. And this has got the piggy in it. And I'm wanting, I'm putting a little space in between because I am playing. Okay, I, I know that's going to get poured off, so let's overlap it. This orange, interference orange. Why not? Okay. All right, guys. I don't like that. I, I like it a little bit. There we go. All right. I think we are ready. Okay, let's tip quickly. I'm going to get it all the way over to the edges and bring it back and back and down. Let's go over to this corner. Now this corner. Okay. Let's go back this way. Let's go down this edge. Let's get all this off the corner now much as we can. Okay, let's bring it back. It's not purling yet, so that's good. Now let's go down to this corner. Get some of this off. Okay, let's bring it up. All the way down. And see what we get. All right, bring it up. All right, we're gonna let it sit. Okay, so we got some wonky things going on. I'm really trying to get a lot of yellow. Um, pearls, I've been working with yellow. Now I can tell you by looking at this, I probably have too much paint right there and maybe too much here where it's not gonna pearl up. But I'm looking to do either a Dutch pour and flower pop, one or the other, both, we will see. So we're just gonna kind of let this um, gel and uh, we're, gonna have a, we're gonna have fun with it. Let's, I am going to um, speed this up and let it sit so that you can see um, the pearls form and we'll see what we get. Okay, this has turned out really well. You can see where it's purled. Um, again, I had a little too much paint through here. I do, this is not my typical um, color palette for sure, but the beauty of the pearl pour for me is less is more. I don't like a lot of pearls. I am going to do a Dutch pour. So I think if I'm looking at this composition, I believe I'm gonna move it this way, kind of in an angle. And um, I do need to cover up this corner. I think I'm just going to do a standard um, blow. I've got my, um, let's see, show you my, my blowout. This is going to be Arteza Violet, and I'm going to start with that. The composition is so important. I think this is the hardest part. Um, here, here, and here. There we go. All right, the next color is going to be TLP Watermelon. Start down here. 
okay? The next color is going to be the um, Amsterdam. It was the rose, it was a long name. Yeah, here it is, sorry. It is the uh, permanent red violet light mixed with my little T.O.P. Venus, which I love. All right, let's put Venus down. Okay, and then I have T.L.P. Mango. Okay, beautiful. We're gonna go back with some of the purple. Okay, we're gonna go back with watermelon. I'm just gonna keep doing layers. Again, this is not my typical color palette. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun, and fun it is. These colors are so much fun. I'm loving it. Just wish I had a metallic in there, but I don't. Yeah, all right. very different. I, I love it. I mean, it's unique. Definitely not typical me. All right, I'm going to get a straw and I'm going to wisp some of these edges and we'll be right back. Okay. So I'm just going to mess around I'm trying to see right here. Okay, my wisp is kind of choppy, but I love it. I don't want to mess with it anymore. The colors are so vibrant. That mango going through the center is amazing. I lost footage of the um, up close, but it, it dried the same way that you see here. I put some spray varnish on this one. I didn't use Liquitex satin like I normally do. I used a spray. It made it so vibrant. I hope you enjoyed this Pearl Pour Dutch Blowout. I had such a great time tonight. Thank you everyone for being here. Let's head over to Angela Bliss Art. Take care. Till next time.